Please excuse my appearance. So this morning I woke up in the mood to put on makeup and that is why we're here today. I want to get really glam and really dolled up for absolutely no reason. I'm not going anywhere but I'm just in the mood to look cute today. So that's what we're going to do. So let's get into it. I'm going to do my face makeup and whatnot off camera and I will see you in a bit. Can you not? I feel a bit better now that my foundation is done. I know my foundation doesn't exactly match my skin tone, but you know, it's all I can afford at the moment and whatever, you know. All right, let's contour and then we can talk. So I'm going to be using these three shades to contour and then what blush am I going to use? We'll figure that out later. For today's look, I'm kind of feeling a cut crease and I'm kind of feeling green. So I think that's what we're going to do green cut crease type of look my friend recently gave me this mac pigment and i kind of want to incorporate that into today's look that's kind of why i'm feeling green because of this pigment oh i just spilt that everywhere okay well since there's already product here let's just swatch whatever's there yuck that is that is cute as i don't know if you can see it Watches with June. Okay, wait. Okay. I hope you can see that. I don't know. Whatever. You'll see it on my eye. For blush, I'm going to be using this Rimmel London one that I've had for about four years now. Um, kind of gross, I know, but whatever. It still works. So whatever. I really like to pack on the blush, I think blush is so cute so i do like to go a bit heavy with that i'm going to be using becca skin shimmering perfecta in opal for highlight To start off my eyes, I'm going to go in with the Magic Palette by Juvia's Place. I'm going to be going in with this green shade into my crease. And yes, it is a shimmer. And I know people say, don't put shimmers in your crease. But my face, I can do what I want. You're not my dad. Get off my dick. So, you know what's annoying? It's annoying because off camera, I can have full lengthy conversations with myself. And I know what to say. Like, I practice filming, right, off camera. And I know what to say, and I know what to do. But then as soon as I get on camera, I'm like, why is it so hard to talk on camera? I just don't know what to talk about. Like, I don't know how people can have, like, full-on conversations on camera and not stress about it, if that makes sense. I suppose it is because I am a bit of an anxious child and, like, the internet scares me, but I love it at the same time. I don't I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I'm going to go into this dark green shade right here, and I'm just going to use that to deepen out the crease. Let's talk about the direction of this channel, shall we? I don't just want to do like makeup and beauty related videos. Like I'm leaning more towards vlogging as of recently and that is because like i've been watching a whole lot of people vlogging and it's just it looks like fun and it's something that i want to do uh, but like my life just isn't interesting enough to vlog the large majority of my time is spent just in my room crying like self-loathing just wallowing in my own self-pity and 
I feel like that's not something that you can really put on the internet. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'm so at the moment, I'm just kind of figuring out what I like, exploring with different types of content, exploring with different types of editing style until I find one that makes me happy and yeah, until I just find one that suits me. And I also know like the type of videos that are in right now, the very like vloggy type of videos, you know, like quirky, relatable teen, you know, I hate myself, peace sign, Ken's burn effect. Um, and like I, and I love that type of content. I am very inspired by like, you know, Emma Chamberlain and um, Antonio Gaza, Gaza? I'm not entirely too sure how to pronounce their last name. Also like the first YouTuber who I noticed like, did the quirky editing was Enya and I always thought that's like amazing genius a queen we stand but now I just feel like it's been overdone like at this point people are just abusing the editing tool I like this side, but then this side's doing something weird and funky and I just don't know what's going on. Should I just leave it and move on before I have like a mental breakdown? Yep, whatever. I'm just going to leave it and move on. So I'm going in with the pigment now. And this hella cute beach. Also, the name of this MAC pigment is Golden Olive. Ooh, all right. I'm feeling kind of cute, but I feel like the camera doesn't show you guys what I see in person. But I feel cute. So, whatever. That's all that matters. <laughs> I'm just going to bring you guys up nice and... All right, that's too close. Like, step back. Okay, whatever I did to the top, I'm going to do to my lower lash line. I am kind of liking how this is turning out so far, and I hope you are too. Um, I'm going to do eyeliner now, and I'm going to have to do that off camera because that is tricky. That is too hard for me, and that requires a lot of concentration. So, I will be back. Uh Stop it. So my eyeliner is done and I am I'm feeling kind of cute. That's all I can say. I'm gonna put on eyelashes now and I am using bold flip blob I'm I'll just put it in the description. color I used for my lips is by NYX and it's in the shade Abu Dhabi. Feeling cute and feeling, you know. And this is the final look. I feel cute. I feel great. I feel confident. And that was the goal of today to make myself feel cute and great. And yeah, we achieved it. So that's good. That's fun and exciting. Um... I hope you liked today's video. Um, I feel like it was very jumbly and all over the place and you know, you know what? You need to be more confident in yourself. This is me talking to my f reflection, but you are great. You are special. You are beautiful. Love yourself, sister. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!